hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so in the previous videos uh, on neural network we discussed about uh, the important parameters and terms associated with neural networks such as the input output hidden nodes uh, about weights bias and activation function so there we just uh, got to know that activation function is used to determine the type of output we want and each node or neuron in the neural network has an activation function associated with it so in this video we are going to discuss about the activation function in specific and what are the different types of activation functions that are used in uh, while designing the artificial neural networks uh, of specific neurons and nodes so we you know that uh, this is the general uh, artificial node or neuron which has inputs weights the activation function over the net input and then we have the output so what does the activation function actually do so as I said the activation function is applied over the net input now the net input here is calculated by multiplying the weights along with the input signals and summing it up now the activation function acts over the net input so this activation function determines the output the type of function determines the output so there are various types of functions that are used uh, various mathematical functions that are available and it all depends on what type of output we want so each node or neuron has an activation function associated with it and uh, the activation functions can be both linear or nonlinear depending on the output requirements so the common types of activation functions that are used are these okay identity function step function or the which is of two types binary step function and bipolar step function sigmoidal function again which is of two types binary uh, sigmoidal function and bipolar sigmoidal function uh, the ramp function uh, which is another common type of function which is used as activation function so there are other types of functions also but mostly we'll come across these type of activation functions these are all mathematical functions which there have their own uh, representation and their uh, graphical representation so let us discuss them one by one so first we have is the identity function so the identity function is defined by the mathematical representation fx is equal to x for all values of x it means it, it essentially means the output is the same as the input okay now mostly this identity function is used in the input layer okay in the input layer nodes or the input nodes okay to which the input signals are applied so the input nodes use the identity function so the, uh, the identity function it looks something like this a straight line passing through the origin having a certain slope so this is the graphical representation of the identity function the output is equal to the input at all points okay at all points the output is equal to the input and the identity function is used mostly by the input nodes Okay, the nodes to which the input signals are applied I have already discussed about input output nodes and hidden nodes in the uh, important parameters and terms that video associated with neural networks so you please check out that video first so this is the identity function so next one is the step function or the binary step function so here the function is represented and it involves a threshold value okay so the function is represented as this so here the threshold is very important so here 
what it says is that when the input signal okay over the activation function the, okay the input for a particular node okay i am saying the input for a particular node when that input is lesser than a certain constant value which is called as threshold when it is lesser than that the output will be zero and when it is greater than or equal to the threshold value or the constant value the output is one so i've already discussed about threshold value in that important parameters and terms associated with neural network that video so you please check out that now mostly the threshold it's, it is taken as zero at the origin so in that case the binary step function will look something like this okay a normal step function which we have already discussed in the uh, signal processing uh, section so here when x is greater than 0 the output is equal to 1 and when it is lesser than or equal to 0 then it is 0 okay so this is the binary step function x greater than 0 1 x uh, sorry x greater than or equal to 0 it is 1 and x lesser than 0 it is 0 so this is the binary step function next we have is the uh, bipolar step function now bipolar uh, why it is called bipolar it is because here there is no 0 the output is never 0 but it is the opposite negative value okay of the other one so that's why it is called as bipolar step function and uh, here the output is something like this when the input is lesser than the threshold value the output is minus 1 when it is greater than or equal to the threshold value the output is 1 that's why it is called as bipolar step function because the output is the negative each output is the negative of the other so the bipolar step function it looks something like this when x is greater than or equal to 0 it is plus 1 when x is lesser than 0 it is minus 1 so this is called as binary step function because mostly it is used in uh, digital systems because there are two possibilities of the output either it is 0 or low or 1 or high that's why it is called as binary step function so this is uh, the binary step function and this is the bipolar step function Next we have is the sigmoidal function, okay, binary and bipolar sigmoidal function. The shape of the waveform is mostly the same, more or less the same, but the binary sigmoidal function, it is represented uh, in terms of this function, which involves an exponential function also, which is given by 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x. Now here lambda is a, a constant value which is called as the steepness parameter which determines the slope of the curve. Okay, the binary sigmoidal function it is represented as a function with x as the variable which is equal to 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x where lambda is the steepness parameter. This is the binary sigmoidal function. The bipolar sigmoidal function is represented as fx is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x by 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x. So both in both the cases exponential is e to the power minus lambda x but just here in the numerator it, we have 1 minus e to the power minus lambda x and here in the denominator is 1 plus e to the power minus lambda x. Here also the lambda is the same steepness parameter. Now the sigmoidal function uh, be it binary or bipolar it has a wave uh, the shape of the waveform the curve is something like this now here each curve is drawn or plotted for a particular value of lambda which is the steepness or parameter which determines the slope so you can see we have drawn the curves for different values of lambda starting from 0.5 uh, 1 2 and 5 so as you can you can see that when we increase the value of uh, lambda the slope of the curve also increases here this is for lambda is equal to 0 0.0, uh, 0.5 so it is something like this for lambda is equal to 1 it is something like this 
for lambda equals to 2 it is something like this and for lambda equals to 5 it is this so as we increase the value of lambda the slope of the curves also increase the steepness of the curve also increases okay so this is the uh, binary and bipolar sigmoidal function next we have is the ramp function which is uh, which which is uh, which depends on uh, threshold values of uh, two two threshold values so generally it is represented in this way uh, function of x which is the output of the node or the activation function which is equal to 1 when x is greater than or equal to 1 is equal to the input that is x when the input lies in between 0 and 1 0 lesser than equal to x lesser than equal to 1 and 0 when x is lesser than 0 so here 0 is the lower threshold value and 1 is the upper threshold value both thresholds are used and the shape of this uh, function is like this so as you can see when x is greater than or equal to 1 it is 1 when x lies in between 0 and 1 fx is equal to x similar to the identity function when x is lesser than 0 the output of the node is 0 so this is the ramp function here so we have discussed all the activation functions and their waveforms the shape of the waveforms so these are the commonly used activation functions. there are many other functions that are used and if uh, we come across any such function any other activation functions other than this I will discuss them but mostly you will find these type of activation functions in uh, neural networks so these are the common type of uh, activation functions that are used so here we have discussed all of them so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much